Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. And before the year is over, I'm trying to catch up on some films that I have yet to review. And this is one that came out in the very beginning of 2023. It is another screen-based film. My review of the 2023 thriller, Missing, coming up now. Eighteen-year-old high school senior June Allen lives with her mom, Grace, in a suburb of Los Angeles. Grace is going on a vacation to Columbia with her boyfriend, Kevin, and June spends most of her time partying while her mom is gone. When June goes to pick up her mother and Kevin at the airport, they never arrive. June creatively uses all of the technology available to her to figure out her mom's whereabouts, and along the way finds out surprises she never expected to find out about Grace. So what did I think of Missing? I thought it's an engaging screen-life thriller film. It's directed by Nick Johnson and Will Merrick in their feature directorial debut. However, they did serve as editors on the movie Searching. Missing acts as an anthology sequel or spin-off of sorts to Searching, a film that I really enjoyed when it came out, a little more than this entry, uh, and is also the spiritual sequel to the film Run. Much like these other films, it takes place on a laptop, cell phone screen, ring camera, security camera footage, and any other device you can think of. There are some questionable uses of the technology to make it fit the narrative of the film, like June and other characters using their laptops to make phone calls. First, we get a look back at the personal relationship between June and Grace, as well as the backstory of June's father passing away. We're along for the ride with June as she checks each text or email, trying to find any clue she can. She's smart for her age, and the things she manipulates or things she does make sense and isn't too implausible. June gets help from her mother's friend Heather, that's a lawyer, and hires a gig worker in Columbia, Javi, to help try to figure out what went down there, and June has some fun back and forths with him. There's a lot of good tension throughout, and things begin to get more serious and even dark as the film goes on. It's also interesting to see June uncover surprises about Kevin, and more shocking, her mom, as she tries to figure out what's behind her disappearance. While there's a lot going on here, it always kept me invested and entertained. There are a ton of red herrings, twists, and turns through this journey, and it kept me guessing until the reveal. I feel like this is the kind of ending that will either make or break the whole film for many viewers, and if you buy in or not. While it's certainly over the top, I definitely didn't see the ending coming. <laughs> Storm Reed stars as June Allen, the 18-year-old girl desperately trying to figure out what happened to her mother, Nia Long as Grace Allen, June's mother who's gone missing after her trip, Joaquim de Almedia as Javier Ramos, the Colombian worker June employs for a small fee to help her find answers, and Ken Long as Kevin Lin, Grace's boyfriend who's hiding secrets. Missing is a fun and entertaining thriller for today's digital age. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Do It. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A List. And of course, you can follow me on the Instagram and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time, Troop. Out.